वेलकम टू डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन एट विद्या अलंकर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन दिस डिपार्टमेंट वी हैव टेकन दिस न्यू इनिशिएटिव टू स्टार्ट अवर ओन यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस यूट्यूब चैनल वी आर गोइंग टू अपलोड ऑल अवर एक्सपेरिमेंट्स वीडियो वैल्यू एडेड कोर्स वीडियो और एनी अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट वीडियोज दिस मटीरियल विल बी अवेलेबल टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स इन मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी एंड दिस मटीरियल विल हेल्प स्टूडेंट्स Uh, to enhance their learning not just in their classroom but even outside the classroom i hope that everyone will uh, like this our effort and in case of any query comments anything they can put it in the comment box thank you hello everyone welcome to software simulation laboratory this is experiment number 9 title to verify sampling theorem and nyquist criteria in matlab Let's look into some theory of it. According to the Nyquist-Shannon sampling theorem, for faithful reproduction of a continuous signal in discrete domain, one has to sample the signal at a rate f s higher than at least twice the maximum frequency f m contained in the signal. Now let's start with the program. Let's go to File, New, Script. Now we are done with the typing of the program. Uh, In usually in MATLAB or other simulation softwares, uh, uh, everything is displayed in digital that is discrete in time. Therefore, generation of a real continuous time signal is not possible on it. Instead, a continuous like signal is generated by using a very high sampling rate. Therefore, we uh, first we start with um, defining a simple continuous like sinusoidal signal with a frequency of approximately 10 k, and then that is over here we define the frequency of 10k that is 10 e3 means that 10 into t, um, 10 into 10 to the power 3 and we define the sampling rate as very high so that it appears like a continuous uh, signal that is fs equal to 500 into e3 uh, 500 e3 means that 500 into 10 to the power 3 and we define the number of cycles as 5 we generate 5 continuous cycles of sinusoids that means now we define the time for it that is time uh, this is uh, zero is the beginning time and uh, um, ending time is number of cycles divided by the frequency that is this f and the intervals at which uh, the time goes on incrementing is 1 by fs that is 1 by the sampling frequency now we define x that is the uh, sinusoidal wave that is co we define the cos wave cos into 2 pi ft and now we plot this continuous sinusoidal signal by using the plot function directly that is plot t comma x we give title x label and y label for the given um, signal now we define uh, this continuous sinusoidal signal is now uh, going to be sampled in two frequencies um, sampling frequency that is fs1 which is 30 kilohertz and fs2 which is 50 kilohertz we define the time interval for this as well that is t1 uh, t1 goes from uh, 0 to number of cycles divided by f and the time at which and the intervals at which it goes on incrementing is 1 by fs1 similarly it is uh, time t2 is written for uh, the sampling frequency 2 and this also goes on this goes on incrementing with 1 by fs2 we define the sinusoidal signal for this and this as well now we plot the given signal subplot which is used for now we plot the given uh, sampled signal subplot uh, 2 1 1 means that the given figure is divided into two rows one column and the first is being accessed by us now we plot the sinusoidal signal and we use hold on hold on is used to retain the previous graph because with respect to that the next graph is going to be uh, formed We use stem t1 comma x1. We use stem in order to plot discrete signals. Uh, since we have used frequency very high frequency, therefore uh, even when we are using stem function, which is used for discrete, we get a graph which is continuous like. Then we have plotted the first uh, sampling frequency uh, signal, and next is um, next uh, we use subplot for 2 1 2, which is two rows, one column, and the second is being accessed for the sampling rate 50 kilohertz. We plot t comma x, and then hold on is used again to retain the original continuous like signal, and then we plot this t two comma x two, which is the sampled signal, second sampled signal. So now let's check the output. So here we have obtained uh, the sampled signal for c. Uh, this signal is discrete, but it looks continuous like. 
so this is the sampled signal for frequency uh, 30 kilohertz and this is for 50 kilohertz uh, that's all for today thanks for watching